I have to learn how to feel something that's in opposition to my truth. I love this one. Fail early, fail often, fail forward. You know, it's always a little bit frustrating to me when, when people have a negative relationship with failure. Failure is a massive part of being able to be successful. When you're paving your individual road for success, there's gonna be challenges, but there's ways to overcome those challenges. A really big challenge people have nowadays is saying they don't have enough time to work on their goals or their dreams or their aspirations, which honestly doesn't make any sense because everybody's given the same amount of time in each day. Everybody has 24 hours, but it's what you do with them and how many of them you use is what's important. Now that can mean you just wake up 20 minutes earlier than you normally would to put 20 minutes into focusing on your goals and aspirations each and every single day. And that time will slowly add up and then you'll have a lot of time focused on your goals. And that way you can constantly be working on trying to become successful in the ways that you want every single day. Or that can mean by just using your time more efficiently. How many hours a day do you spend looking down at your phone, mindlessly scrolling through social media? Imagine you just took 15 less minutes of that a day and focused on working your dreams and finding out how to become as successful as you possibly can. That will make an instrumental difference in your life from just 15 minutes a day. But there's a lot of people out there that are just too lazy and don't really think that time would equate to anything because they wouldn't focus and put it that time towards their goals and dreams. They would just rather be looking at social media, wasting their life, not doing anything that they truly love. Self-discipline is the center of all material success. Cannot win the war against the world if you can't win the war against your own mind. Greatness is not this wonderful, esoteric, elusive, godlike feature that only the special among us are, will ever taste. You know, it's something that truly exists in all of us. It's very simple. This is what I believe, and I'm willing to die for it. My power and my desires in the world, it was easier to connect to people in a loving way. It, it, trans, it transferred easily from a defense mechanism to an ability to love and care for people. You have to get comfortable with failure. You have, you have to actually seek failure. Failure is where all of the lessons are. You know, when you go to the gym and you work out, you're actually seeking failure. You wanna take your muscles to the point where you get to failure because that's where the, the adaptation is. That's where growth is. A dude screamed to me the other night, hey Will, I wanna be an actor, man. I wanna be an actor just like you. People say stuff to me like that. I'm like, yeah, man, you know, you do it. Give them an encouraging word. But I was just sitting in here thinking, and it dawned on me, 99% of people that say stuff like that are not willing to do what it takes to make their dreams come true. The Marines have a saying, everybody wants to go to heaven, but nobody wants to die. I'm so connected to symbolically being able to turn lead into gold. You know, my, my grandmother used to say, you know, life give you a lemon, you go ahead and make lemonade. Yeah. To me, that's, that's alchemy. That's, the, that's yeah. the same concept behind the alchemist. I think there's always an aspect of us that when we feel unloved, you know, in any capacity, in any relationship, when we feel unloved, uh, when we feel mistreated, when we feel somehow disrespected, it's a natural reaction to want revenge. Successful people fail a lot. They fail a whole lot more than they succeed, but they extract the lessons from the failure and they use that, the energy, and they use the wisdom to come around to the next phase of success. That's just real. At the center of bringing any dream into fruition is self-discipline. You know, some, something as simple as food and eating, it, it's not about your, your body as much as it is about your mind. It's getting command of your mind to be able to choose actions that are in your own best interest. 
Well, thank you all so much for watching this video. Please go ahead and like the video and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And go ahead and throw a comment down in the section below.